Hello guys, last week I've done a tutorial about Epsynth where I showed the granular uh, engine granular, sorry and I showed a trick where you can loop the granular samples and this tutorial is kind of gonna take off where uh, where that one ended so I'm gonna skip some steps so if, if you don't understand everything maybe you should go watch that one first and what I did now first I'll play you the sound it's a it's a bit strange don't laugh and what I did I modulated the um, starting point again but this time not to scroll through the sample from beginning to end and then loop it but Rather, um, I wanted it to take random bits, uh, seem seemingly random bits of the sample, and uh, sustain them for a little while. So you can hear it when I um, disable the others. You can hear it more clearly. So I just took um, a vocal. I think it was a loop. Uh, maybe four bars or so and then I right click on uh, start and then I say create a new envelope so now I already did that and this is what the uh, envelope looks like and from the transform menu I said load envelope template and then um, I chose the step sequence or you can make it yourself and then you kind of have to tune it by ear or you can pop a tuner on your channel and, and see what what notes she's singing so now every time um, it's it's a flat hair it's gonna um, it's gonna sustain that part of the uh, of the sample and, and I think it gives a, a really cool sound and then I used an LPS filter to mess with the phase a little bit and then I added a melody to kind of give more structure to the sound and make it uh, more solid and as someone suggested I could use those um, other sounds on in different uh, instances of absinthe so I can process them further but I I think um, for demonstration use it's best to keep everything in one absinthe and also this way it's uh, quite easy to um, for example if you wanted to look at the, um, the sample start envelope and the oscillator B main pitch envelope you can on command, alt, command, and then uh, select them both so you can see if they're kind of lining up, for example, when you're doing pitch things, and also you can copy the envelopes. So, for this um, second sound, which is a lot less interesting, I just used some filters and some filter modulation, and I think that's, yeah, and, and the pitch modulation. It's nice, but boring. And then um, the last one is um, just, I think it's a sort of a bass thing. So also just some filter work and I can see, let's see what I did there. So I modulated the pitch to go down. My last note is going up again. I see, that's pretty cool. Um, then the frequency of the filter. So that's that's also not that interesting, but you you can see it with um, with all this stuff together. You can you can make some pretty cool sounds and loops, patch window. It it makes it a lot more interesting. And 
that's it. Um, make sure you have these settings right, and I think then you're good to go. I mean, there's there's no not that much, but there is some stuff going on here. But it's all pretty basic. It's just I think it's only filter and and pitch modulation, and then the sample start is the only. Um, interesting one, and with this one, I messed for quite a while because you have to get it. You have to get it pretty right. And for example, if you 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 can also set it at some point in the sample where there's no sound or something like that. But even even that can be useful. For example, here somewhere I hear it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And now you can see the value here for that um, for that dot is uh, 0.7623. So I can select these other ones here and set them to 0.763. Was it? And then you can get whole different sounds. <laughs> so it's a, it's pretty interesting. Mess around with that. Um, thanks for watching.